Well, well, good morning, guys. Guess what? I got a car back. I went and bought a battery. I'm rolling in the dough now, which is totally good. I'm happy. Kind of happy. I don't know. And that's the worst part about a, a car is you'll get your freaking car fixed. And spend all this money, but then you find other problems, and that's what I'm dealing with now. So, my car is working and running, but now my air conditioner doesn't work. So, <laughs> so now I have another $500 problem. So it cost me $200 to go and get a battery, get that shit fixed. Uh, yesterday was mayhem. It sucked. Good thing I had my partner, ZJ. Me and ZJ got off of work. We came here and uh, ZJ helped me install my battery. Basically, ZJ did all of the work because I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I am, is it mechanically inc inclined, declined, inclined? I can't do shit. I suck ass, man. I don't know. Now, if it had to do with cleaning or scrubbing a toilet, oh, I could do the hell out of that shit. That's easy. But when it comes to, like, mechanic shit, I can't do that to save my life. So, <clears throat> I'm glad that I had ZJ come through, help me get that done. It's perfect. So, now, um, just woke up from the woman's house. I got to rush and go in the worst traffic in the world. It's back to that shit. So I got to travel like 30 minutes or maybe 25. We'll see. As long as I talk to you guys is as long as it's going to take me to get home. And uh, I've told you guys before, this New Jersey slash New York traffic is the worst shit to travel in. And... I really wish that I could just point this camera so you guys can get an idea and see how crazy people are here. So, with this traffic being so crazy, there's these cops. There's tons of cops that park on the side of the roads, number one, so they can get the New York City, New Jersey City revenue up so they could pull everybody over and give them a $300 fucking ticket because that's what tickets around here always are. If you get pulled over for whatever it is and they write you a ticket, I don't care what it is. It could be because you farted wrong and that cop noticed it. You're going to get a $300 ticket. They don't make that ticket anything else. It's always $300. You have two weeks to appear in court. If you don't want to go to court, you have to pay $300. Then, this is the thing that New Jersey gets everybody with is after the two weeks you pay the $300 six months later you have to pay a $100 tax fee on that fucking thing so you'll pay the $300 fine and normally any other state any place that you ever go you'll get a ticket and you pay it off once you pay something off it's done correct not here in New Jersey. Hell no. They'll bring you back. They'll write you a letter. And you'll have to pay a $100 tax fee on this. And you have to do it for three years. So that means that they could tax you every six months for another $100. And you could end up paying $600 extra on top of that $300 ticket. Now it sounds crazy and it sounds like I'm bullshitting you, but I got a ticket from 2017 and I've been paying these stupid tax things on it for almost three years and they'll just keep doing it to you. Any way the state of New Jersey can get money out of you, they will get money out of you. This place, this place is a money pit, man. Like there's so many things that you can do, so many places you can go to and it's it's what everybody wants. New York City's right there. It's got the country that's off to the side, which is like upstate New York. 
You know what I mean? It's got Pennsylvania, so if you want to go golfing and hunting and all that shit, that's right there. But you can enjoy anything because it there's so much people here. The traffic's so bad and everything, and I mean everything, costs money. Like parking? Holy shit. You think wherever you're from, parking sucks there. Try paying $20 to park for an hour somewhere. Some of the parking around here is $20, $15, $10. Just the regular parking spots like $3. Three bucks. It's such shit. Right now, I'm, uh, I just can't stand how much of a money pit this place is. But right now, I'm at the conjunction function. Um, I can't flip the cat. You know what? Fuck this. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Ready? All right. This is conjunction function. Look at this shit. Look. All right. And then you see this over here. That right there. That's the ticket machine. That's the guy that wants to give you a $300 ticket and ruin your life. That guy just sits there all day long writing people's tickets. Now, there's a cop right there. There's a cop right up above him. And then there's a cop over here where we all got to go. So any direction that you drive in, there's a cop. And those cops just sit there and they just cite people tickets. And the worst part about it is you could literally get a ticket, not get pulled over, they don't talk to you, do anything, and they just mail you tickets. This place sucks ass. Now, I know I sound super negative, and I'm not being negative. This is just literally how it is, and people that live in New Jersey and New York are just used to it. So I tell people, I'm like, how the hell do you guys do this? And they're just like responses like, well, that's part of living here, bro. And it's like, if you move to New York, New Jersey, this is what you want. If you came here for a job like I did and I wasn't prepared to be here, I don't give one rat's ass about New York City. I don't care about New Jersey. I personally do not like the East Coast. I don't like it. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like how much money it costs. I don't care for almost all of it. I hate all of it. And I literally am using a word where people are like, oh shit, you're not being fair or you're being you're being an asshole. I'm literally telling you like, no one wants to live in a place where every time you do any little tiny thing, you get a ticket for it. You can't drive, like to drive two miles, literally, I my, my girlfriend, my woman, literally lives a town over from me, okay? That's like five miles from my house. It can take an hour to drive five miles. Like, who the hell wants to do that? Nobody. Like, I, I can't stand it, man. And if I had my choice, and I say this all the time, I wanna be in Las Vegas. If I could live anywhere, well, I, I could think of three places that I would love to live. And the reasons I wanna live in those places, number one is weather, all right? I love waking up every single day and I know it's 70 degrees and there's no snow, no rain, it's not cloudy, it's sunny. So you get three places and those three places are totally affordable and easy to live in. So Arizona or Las Vegas or California. Now, everybody always says, well, California's super loaded. Well, California's super expensive. California's way fucking cheaper than living over here on the East Coast. I'll tell you that. The only thing expensive in California to me is the gas prices. I'd rather take those high expensive $5 gas prices than what you pay for tickets and tolls. It's like $350 to pay in tolls a month. Think about it. How many times a week do you fill your gas tank? Once? Maybe twice if you're driving a lot? That's about it. I'm telling you, California is way cheaper and way better. 
I just need something that doesn't have seasons. Like, the most depressing part with where you live and you're stuck there is going to be if you have a winter. If you have winters and it, or it rains all the time, like Portland, Oregon or Seattle, Washington, that shit sucks. That is super depressing because not on... Because on top of not being able to do what you want to do or on top of not liking where you are, when the weather's super bad and you can't really do anything, especially if you ride BMX. If you ride BMX and you can't go out and ride your bike, not because you're physically injured, not because you don't have a bike, but because the weather sucks so bad and it's super cold or it's raining, it's the worst shit in the world. And snow can be better than rain because with rain, it's wet the whole time and then it could start to dry up and then it rains again because that's what Seattle does. You know, with the snow, all the sidewalks and streets can be dry or people could shovel them so you could go out and ride your bike. But with the rain, it's just like, hey, look, it's starting to get dry, but oh, I'm going to start raining again so you get this little tease. It sucks ass. So weather for me is a big deal and also just living. Like I don't like being rushed. I don't like being forced to do anything. I just wanna coast and chill. And coasting and chilling is way better than any of this shit, I'll just tell you. And lately with these uh, vlogs or these things that I've been doing lately, it's just been kind of me talking to you guys and telling you about how my day's going. And I don't really have a theme. I'm not really talking about one subject. I'm kind of bouncing from here and there. And like I said in the beginning, it's, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with these things. I somehow, some way people are still listening to these some way somehow I am gaining subscribers and I still enjoy doing these now I've only done like I think 20 something of these or 30 something of these so I really haven't done too many and the what I've heard from the people that watch these they actually enjoy them and we carry on with conversations and there's certain things that people like to hear and there's certain things that people don't like to hear. So this actually works out and I enjoy it. So if I enjoy it, like I said, I'll just keep doing this shit. And uh, lately what I've noticed is driving in my car and talking to you guys has totally worked. Look at this. My freaking... uh, my thing that holds this video thing together is breaking. So, just like before, like I said before, everything in this car is falling apart. Now, I've never kept a car to 100,000 miles. I've always just been like, oh, let me refinance and get another car. And I've never thought about, like, Oh, now I'm going to have another loan. Oh, now I'm going to have another $350 payment a month. And it's like stupid little things like that. Like every penny you can save is way better than the way you look. And the older I get, the more I realize like, okay, I do have a dream car I want. I do have ideas of things that I want. Now, I'm totally capable of affording those. I'm totally capable of getting in refinancing, getting another loan, and getting a brand new car. But then I think about, well, fuck, maybe I want to save some money so I can move and get into a new house or move in with my woman and we get a house. So my priorities have totally changed. And then also, you know, I'm going to be 37 in a few days, so... That also is playing with my mind. It's like, I'm going to be 40 years old. I still live in an apartment by myself. I'm still riding BMX. I don't think I'm going to quit BMX for a long time, to be honest with you guys. I just... Retiring is the scariest thing in the world. 
And the last thing I want to do is give up something that I've loved for 25 years. So I don't think I can retire from BMX fully. You know what I mean? I mean, I can maybe I can stop being sponsored and going out and doing that and I just go out and have fun. But I don't even see that happening anytime soon. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep this piece of shit car. It's at like 97,000 miles. It's about to hit 100,000 miles. My air conditioning doesn't work. My right side of my car says that my tire's flat, but that says I need a new sensor. So I have all these annoying little problems with this car, but I'm about to own the car and have it paid off. And I would have had this car paid off a couple years ago, but... If any of you guys out there have ever refinanced and got another car or traded in a car and then got another car, all that debt just keeps carrying. So basically this car right here, I'm paying off three cars. So the last three cars I had are stuck inside this car. So basically the last few thousand dollars that I have to pay on this are just interest rate that I've had over the years paying off these cars. So it's just like a pain in the ass. But that's adult life. If there's younger kids on here, I want you guys to know this. Don't ever, ever get a credit card until you fully understand what it's like to have to pay a bill. And then realize that like, okay, even though I don't see that money and I'm spending money, it doesn't mean that there is no money and that you don't owe money. It means that you owe that money. So don't look at it and go, well, I don't see it, so I'll just pay this minimum, and then you'll have a 23% interest rate, and you're gonna fuck yourself. So, if you're going to get a credit card, get a really low limit, make sure that you pay it off every single time, and don't get yourself stuck. Don't be a stupid, moronic kid, and then when you're in your 30s, you're paying back all this stupid debt. And on top of that, if you're going to college, which congratulations, you're going to college, you know you're going to be stuck in that shit too. You're going to have debt from being in college and whatever job you're going for, whatever career you're going for, usually after that four years, everybody else was going for that job. So you might not get what you want. So make sure you major in other subjects so then you have a backup plan don't just go and be like oh i want to be a nurse or whatever it is and by the time you get out all the places you look to be a nurse are all taking up because everybody else wants to be a nurse make sure you have a backup plan for that and then also realize that you're going to be paying for that debt for a long time and you can't get out of that debt so college is a big deal it's super responsible it's something that you need to do but at the same time there's a lot of debt that comes with that shit so i just suggest to kids instead of going to college try going to trade school try to go somewhere where you're going to get paid to go to school and when you come out you're already trained in the field that you want to be in and that's what i did i paid for poker school obviously i'm not doing poker anymore i did it for 10 years um There's a lot of bad shit that comes along with being a poker dealer. Horrible nights. Like, you know, your work schedule is from like 5 in the afternoon till 2 in the morning. You're not going to bed till like 6 in the morning. You're sleeping all day long and you're up all night long. You got to be around degenerate alcoholics and druggies. And everybody's a gambleaholic. So you fall into gambling. And a gambling habit is just as bad as drinking and drugs just as bad as I I don't know like being addicted to subscription pills or whatever the hell it is so basically what I'm saying is the older you get the more you realize what your responsibilities are and what you need to do and usually it is until you're goddamn 40 something years old before you realize like goddamn I was a stupid kid I wasted all this money by thinking I was cool by getting things that make me look cool. I don't care about looking cool anymore, all right? I shop at Walmart. I buy all my clothes from Walmart. If I have to buy clothes, which I'll be very honest with you, I don't have to buy pants. I don't have to buy socks. 
I think I just have to buy shoes. I get hats, pants, jackets, and shirts and socks for free. So I got to buy underwear and shoes. My underwear and shoes, you got it right, Walmart. Everything I buy from Walmart, $5 bin, I don't give a shit. I don't care what anyone says. It just doesn't matter to me anymore. Being materialistic and trying to keep up with the Joneses, as my mom would say, just doesn't serve a purpose in my life anymore. All that matters to me is I have some money in the bank, my mental health is happy, and I can go to the store and I can buy food anytime I want. That is probably the worst feeling in the world is when you go and look in your wallet or your bank account and you don't even have enough money to buy a coffee. And I've lived that life. I have done the dig around in my car looking for quarters and pennies and nickels and digging through my house and going through all of my clothes and pants just hoping to score a dollar so I could go to McDonald's and I could buy a small coffee and living check to check and just being miserable and hating myself because of responsibilities. I might have had a really dope ass car and I might have had really dope ass shoes. Like, I mean, look at this shit. This is how stupid. Look at this. Look at that. Look. You know what these corny ass things are? Bapes. Ooh, bathing apes from Japan. Ooh, you're so cool, Ricky. How much money did you spend for those? Oh, $300? Wow. Guess what? Little Wayne doesn't even wear that shit anymore. Why the fuck did you buy those? I have 10 pairs of these fucking things. I don't care about them now. Now I'm stuck with them. I have a pair of Yeezys. I didn't pay for the Yeezys. But I'm just saying things like that are fucking stupid. They don't get you anywhere and they're a waste of time. Like buying shoes and having a new pair of shoes all the time is just a waste. Nobody gives a shit. People that judge people by their shoes are fucking losers. That's like I say, you're in debt. You that judge me by what my shoes look like. When you see a person or a guy when he looks you up and down, they always start from the shoe and then they move on. People that have those things are usually broke. Because I'll tell you this. Most millionaires wear New Balances. All right? They're not wearing Jordans. They're not wearing Gucci. They're not wearing any of that shit. People that wear that stuff are just trying to show off. They're just trying to make you believe that there's something. They're wearing a costume. All right? Every multimillionaire that I've ever met wears New Balance and dresses like he's homeless. All these people that wear brand new polo and wear all this are in debt up to their ears. They don't have any money. They're just trying to floss and look the part. I'm telling you, all these people that look that way. So, I guess I'm going to uh, go and uh, I'm going to go get an acai bowl. And uh, I'm going to start my day. I went and bought a plane ticket. So, if you live in Great Falls, Montana, you might see somebody soon. Either way, guys, do me a favor. Like the video. Comment on the video if there's anything or any subject or any bitching thing that I did in here. And you guys like it or you dislike it or you have something to add to it. Make sure you write something down in the comment. And also, if you got ideas or you got any questions that you want to know about me or anything, leave those down here. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I love you all. Make sure you guys also share this in your guys' Instagram stories. That super helps me. I love all you guys. Have a great day. And marijuana, motherfuckers.